Okay, so the next thing I want to do is really talk about what current actually is. So I want you to imagine that we actually, um, we zoom in. Okay, so we're zooming into this part of the circuit here, and we're having a look to see what the electrons are actually doing. So over here we have like a little cross section of the wire. And inside the wire, we've got a bunch of electrons. And those electrons are busy flowing towards the negative, term, uh, sorry, the positive terminal of the battery. So they're all heading off in this direction down the wire as they move to the positive terminal of the battery. Now I want you to imagine that, um, that you um, are looking in at this wire. So here's your big eyeball right here. And you're looking at that wire at that point where the line is. And what you're doing is you are counting the number of electrons that pass that point per second. Now that is pretty much what current is. Okay, so current is the amount of charge passing a point per second, or the rate at which charge flows per second. So current is defined as I for current, the amount of charge per second. And it doesn't matter whether it's positive charge or negative charge, so it could be the electrons, number of electrons per second, or it could be the um, number of positive charges per second, but essentially it is the charge, amount of charge passing a point per second. That is what current is. Now if we have a look at this, the units of current, well we can derive those from the formula. Um, the units of charge, Q, so Q for charge, the units are C, which is coulombs, and the unit of time is seconds, which means that if we combine the two together, because it is um, charge divided by time, that would mean that the units would be coulombs per second. Now the easy way to be more to it to um, go about that is just to go with amps. So amps and coulombs per second are equivalent, and you can use the units either way.